Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder to a slightly different video because today we have two parts. First one being in the hangar, and we do a little bit of theory crafting, which will be absolutely worth your time. And the other one will be an obscene amount of bird, as you can see, with the FRE Phantom 2 that has also the three gun pods mounted, which is kind of stupid in actual air RB. But uh, with this little trick, it's absolutely okay and actually the way to go for me. There are many, many other ways that you can go with, uh, but the actual purpose of this video is to show you a little bit of a trick that I think a lot of you actually might know, but kind of have forgotten about. It's still a thing, and if you do it correctly, absolutely worth the investment, which is not money, about time. Now, to tell you a little bit about the background here, uh, one of my most viewed videos on this channel is the big Sibylline earning guide. And when people were saying, yeah, but I count this because of this and that, the majority of criticism went toward, yeah, Napalm, but you have a premium account. Yeah, Napalm, but you have a lot of premium vehicles. Yeah, Napalm, you're actually good at the game. Now, if you're really, really, really bad at the game, there is not too much that I can help you aside from, you know, just try to watch videos to see how people are doing it better. Maybe learn some patience, watch the replays, look how you got killed in your tanks, uh, in your planes, etc. And there are many great YouTubers out there that do tutorials on how to get better. And obviously you need to do something. But... One thing that uh, the little trick might actually help you with is that you can earn more money, even without a premium account, even without a premium vehicle. Sure, they will earn you even more, but if you look carefully through the stuff that you have unlocked, you might find a gem or two that you might have not realized. So what I'm talking about is this. Now, come on, the 300% silver line booster. And you can, on average, statistically earn one every day. And how do you do this? You play Assault Air Arcade and Assault Ground Arcade. In today's video, I will focus on Assault Air Arcade, how to get it. Now, this is where the theory starts. Grab a couple of friends, make a platoon, and go into the battle with your preferred planes, coordinate, the attack runs and do your best to win the battle. It will take approximately 25 minutes and when you win the battle you get a reward once a day. Also for tanks but that's a different topic. And if you win the battle you get a backup and a 300% booster and it's random if the booster is civil line or RP. So if you do two of them then you get, statistically speaking, one Civil Line booster a day. And you know also an RP booster 300% is not bad. So you don't have to do the daily logins. You don't have to go with the battle pass and the shop uh, where you have to grind an obscene amount of uh, battles to get the uh, required um, war bonds and then have a chance to get maybe a good booster, but you can see the chances are not really that great. So this is probably the way to go. And to be honest, if you don't have a premium account, the 300% booster mounted to a basically a tech tree vehicle will quadruple your income because it's 100% plus 300% is 400% income plus the base modifier. And this is another thing that I want to make you aware of. And uh, it's also really important with planes. While there are premiums that have a very high income, not every plane has a really high income. Look at the AV-8A. It has a civil line modifier of 2.05 times 2.0 plus the 100% plus 50% from the premium account. But... Others, like the F5C, have 2.5, and the F89D has 2.65 times 2.0, obviously. 
and uh, even lower tier aircraft can have a decent modifier so if you are significantly better with a lower tier one it will make up for the lack in modifier trust me and also there are some tektra vehicles that have quite the nice modifiers uh, the f7 f tiger cat uh, 2.0 we have the f85 uh, the f 80 a5 which has 2.9 and so forth you can look through your tech tree through the various um, ranks and look for what you think is best and to be honest there are, have been so many events there have been uh, so many sales by the way there will be a big big sale at the end of october it will be the 10 year's anniversary of Gaijin well there will be 50% of, of a lot of premium stuff and that is then probably the time of the year where you can get it also premium account is 50% off which is one of the best money investments in War Thunder if you are a regular player but that aside you see how do you get it how do you do the assault air arcade because you do it wrong it can be actually difficult now let's have some gameplay shall we so what do you have to do? Well, it's very simple. Shoot down all the planes before they reach the dropping area. And when the two waves of howitzers appear, you also have to destroy them. And you have to destroy them really quick because they just um, drop the health of your base like it's no business. And why do I choose here jets? Well, you can also use props, but the advantage of jets is very simple and obvious. They're really, really fast. And in the case of... Uh, this baby here, it has a lot, and I mean a lot of firepower. And so you just can do the brrrr and be very effective and break the main wave apart. So, because the attackers kind of stop at SU-6s, B-29s, TU-4s, um, Lincolns, Canberras. That's the highest that you ever meet. And uh, this is now where I just bail out of the plane. Uh, because usually, not always, but usually, it is the third and the eighth wave where the howitzers then come. And I have here in the lineup a plane that has already a pre-selected bomb load, lots of bombs. I also have, as usual in arcade, the holographic um, aim help, um, which have to <laughs> kind of expect to have at higher tiers. And that is very effective as you can see you wait until the radical closes then you drop in such a way that you get the majority of the howitzers really fast and that buys your team time to you know pick up the few remaining ones and that is the trick do not be like this f84f do not land in the plane it's not worth it you have to win the game under all circumstances. Just go in and go directly for the objectives. Um, if you are done, bail out. You know, it's, yeah, it's a few civil lines that you lose, but it doesn't really matter. Here for some uh, stupid fun, the F89D. We don't get the most kills, but it doesn't really matter because we get some kills and uh, some of them tumble down to the earth. We break apart the main wave. The same here with the tu fours. A little bit of a gangster approach here. Yes. Um, and again, we break the main wave apart. The first pass is the most important one, as you have an easy time from the front. Uh, from the rear versus bombers, not so much. And the thing is, if you think that this is looking easy, yes it is. And it's even easier if you play this with a friend um, because you cannot have your eyes everywhere and uh, to be honest if one of you guys or two of you are then there uh, with the bombs ready for the howitzer attack that's all that your team needs to do really and look at this brrr, look at this <laughs> That is so stupid. And in this game mode, nobody cares. Oh man, look at this. It's beautiful. And yeah, you can also train your skills with how to um, lock on some radar targets to make your radar missiles work and just improve your aim 
um, one big tip that I can give you guys here is go with 600 meters of convergence, maybe even more, so you're really good in the head-on phase because, you know, the time, the passing time in a head-on is really short and you have to take down multiple, multiple targets. And uh, that is very important, as you can see. And again, do whatever is necessary to win the game to prevent the drop of the health of the base. It recovers a little bit after uh, each wave, but you know, I think a single uh, TU4 can end it. A single TU4. That is how rigid um, the conditions are. It's really um, for not so well used to people, not so easy. So if you're not really used to the situation, and this is why I like chats, because then you have this really, really big advantage uh, over the enemies. And a prop that doesn't really climb that much, uh, that doesn't have that much firepower, it's a bit difficult. And I think that in terms of pure firepower, it might be the Germans, again with their 20 millimeters at lower tiers, that have here a good point. But why bother if you can do this? <laughs> It's fantastic, and I love it. And so it's also a really positive therapeutical session, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's 25 minutes. But imagine if you have the same time spent in tanks or planes without a 300% booster. Um, you're not going to make up for this. And maybe some of you have some low tier... Um, premium ships and want to try out the game mode just for the rewards you know why not and the same goes for if you are a tanker and you go with planes plane can also be quite rewarding um, tanks to be honest i think um, do have a little bit of a problem because the income has been butchered so often by gaijin so here this is the end of the first battle and let's have a look at the reward once the last enemy dies. There we go. Mission accomplished. 115 planes, 21 assists, a lot of ground units, and we get an RP booster and a backup. Yeah, that is for a win the worst possible outcome, but hey, I'll take it anyway. It helped me to grind uh, some Japanese patrol boats. That was also quite brutal. Let's have another go with the second battle that I just played. Uh, before I made the video and I just have my lineup set here uh, as you can see I also uh, named it for Assault Arcade and it's Norway my god do I miss Norway in the random battle queue it's actually that I haven't played planes in quite a while to be honest and uh, yeah here we have Lincolns and the uh, Lincolns they have this nasty 20 millimeter but if you uh, just time it right with the right altitude, you just also can take so many of them down so quickly. And again, I bailed out once I uh, saw the third wave coming. Uh, it's not always the third wave and I'm here with my plane. And you can see that so many people are so well disciplined uh, to go in already. And you know, it's, it's not about what I do, but what the team does. And so, by accident, this game mode might be the most, how do you say it, the most crude looking one. But it doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, the team wins or the team loses. Regardless what you did. Well, if you did very well, then obviously you can uh, give your team um, a little bit of the edge over the AI bots. And to be honest, I don't care if I die. There is no KD, there is no statistic that I care about. It's all about the brrrt. Beautiful. And there are many more plants that have even more firepower in theory. F-82 with the uh, 50 cal pot. You know, you can try out various different scenarios. And uh, you can play this more often per day, but only the first battle per day 
gives you the reward and even if you lose you get some booster it might be just a hundred percent booster but that's better than nothing and then at least the battle ends a little bit earlier so let's again test the stupidity of the f-89d um i think the missiles or the rockets rather have been significantly nerfed and uh, in single shot yeah they detonate prematurely sometimes but it's still fun and to be honest if you just don't care about online gaming uh, at times if you uh, can't get into random battles um, or you just want to have a chill time want to just um, improve your aim or your approach tactics uh, or your kamikaze tactics you know uh, be my guest hooray <laughs> Yeah, as I said, as long as you kill enough enemies, uh, you can get away with the stupid and nobody cares. It's just hilarious. It's fantastic. And this time we got the 300% silver line booster that we were after. And now I can use it uh, whenever I want, like in three days time. And that's fantastic. So that's actually it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining and most importantly, educative. Um educating england is hard and as usual why not give the video a like if it did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of war thunder